dedicated. And and we're talking about the qualities of of these 300 greatest leaders and how they have been developed. Uh, Kim Loomis was an aide for me at Cleburne High School. Kim was also on our girls' basketball team at Cleburne. And one day we were talking, and she was telling me that, that since she was in middle school, her dad had put up a basketball goal in their uh, driveway going into the garage, and that she had shot and made a certain number of three-point shots every night since the seventh grade. She told me that she had come home from the prom at two or three in the morning, taking her prom dress off and made the three-point shots. She told me that she had done it in the driving rain. She had done it in snow. She said, Coach, I've done it when I've had the flu so bad I can't hardly get up. I have not missed one night since the seventh grade shooting those three-point shots. We're playing a team in the regionals uh, that everybody knows that the winner of this game is probably going to be the state champion in girls' basketball. We're we're behind by two points, (laughs) a few seconds left on the clock. Of course, who gets the ball? Kim Loomis. What does she do? She drains a three-pointer. How lucky is that? Wouldn't luck. How many times had she done that in her backyard? Thousands and thousands. That 10,000 hours that we talked about, you've got to be dedicated to something. Kim Loomis was dedicated to being the best girls basketball player in Texas. We won the state championship. Cleeter High School won the state championship in 1995. She got a scholarship to the University of Texas, and for the next four years, she led the nation in three-point shooting. She's now a coach in California, at a, at a college in California, but it all began back in the seventh grade, shooting three-point shots on her driveway in a garage. She was dedicated to what? She was dedicated that she was gonna become the best girls basketball player in Texas. She spent the 10,000 hours What's the quality you have to to develop if you're going to be great? You've got to become dedicated to something, whether it's academics, athletics, uh, spiritual, whatever it might be. Questions. How do you know Kim was dedicated? Two. How do you think Kim's dedication helped her when she graduated? You think she continued with that? 